Okay. Hey, what is up, everyone? Prepper Ladies 2 here. Welcome back to another live stream, guys. And today, we, of course, are going to be building the 501st Legion Clone Trooper set, or basically the 501st Clone Trooper Battle Pack. This is a set that I was super excited. I think everyone was excited when the release or the announcement. Basically, any news on the set, of course, was exciting. And uh, luckily, my, not my Walmart, but the Walmarts um, in Bloomington, which is only about like 40 minutes away from me, uh, luckily they had them. Uh, I went to two separate Walmarts. One store didn't have them. Um, they said they didn't get it in the store. I was checking uh, Brick Seek and they didn't say they had it, but any circumstance, luckily the other Walmart we went to did have it. And uh, I was able to get four of these beautiful sets right here. We got four 501st battle packs and it is fantastic uh, I can move that little back so you guys can see so I've got four of them and uh, yeah I'm so happy that they had them there and you know I can rest at ease knowing that I finally have some 501st clone trooper battle packs so with that being said what is up everyone I hope you guys are having a great day what is up bagel lover um, I know I am, again, I've been having a pretty good day. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my buddy Aiden came down to visit um, the weekend for my party. So it was a fun time. We had a good, uh, good little visit as well as, of course, you know, getting these beautiful battle packs made it even better. Um, but yeah, like I said, we're probably going to be streaming for a little while. Um, I don't know if I want to build two just yet. I'm probably just going to build... I think at most I'm probably going to build two because I don't. I need one opened uh, so I can use the figures for uh, the minifigure wall. That's the idea at least. And, uh, and I'll probably build a second one. That way the stream doesn't end in like, you know, right off the bat. So uh, what is up, uh, Republog? I'm watching. Uh, I'm Wachachi Productions. Okay. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it's just going to be little stream i know it was a fun uh, fun the other day and i was like you know what i want to get back into the whole streaming thing and uh what's better than you know streaming and building a 501st battle pack so i'm super excited to get this built because again a lot of i don't know what's going on with the uh release date i know jay and ryan have a bit a uh, better understanding about it like some people are saying it's releasing august 1st some people said re it's releasing september 1st uh the stores don't even know when it's supposed to be and they say it's supposed to be in september 1st even though they're getting it already um but luckily one walmart had it uh just sorting so i might not stick around for too long you good buddy yes i remember you yo yo what's up ace gamer how's your day going buddy I don't know. I've been super excited to get these sets built. I've had them for a day, and I've been wanting to uh, get them built. I'm gonna extend this thing a little, a little taller. There we go. So I've been really excited to get these things built, even though it's been like a day. Um, but yeah, the, um, something that can I still borrow those clothes? Yeah, just uh, message me over your Instagram if you want, and I can probably send them off. I, I don't want to say send them off, but uh, ship them off if you like. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, like I was saying, so, what's up, Savage Wolf? Basically, um, I found these sets by, uh, Brickseek. This was recommended by Matt and Jay, and so I actually checked it out, and it was, oh boy, was it worth it. Because, like, at, uh, I was keeping an eye, nothing popped up, and then one day, I was at work, Friday, uh, Thursday night, and I searched it up, and it said, um, in Bloomington, two stores had them, like, quantities of four so I was like can I gmail yeah that's fine go ahead and gmail me eh, gmail me then um I saw that they had some in the Bloomington store so I was like okay I gotta go tomorrow and luckily I have my friends in town so they're like yeah we'll, we'll go too so uh the first store we went to that Brick Seek said basically they didn't have it and I guess the guy uh guy who was working the ass is like was also looking for it so I don't know, maybe they did have it, and the guy was just kind of trying to hide it, because he was like, yeah, I'm also looking for it, so maybe, um, I don't know, um, my guess is maybe they haven't gotten it yet, maybe they were getting it in the next day or so, 
So uh, the next store I went to, luckily they did have it, and they brought out four boxes because it was the only package they had, and I was so happy. Um, like we were there for, I want to say 30 minutes waiting uh, to get the battle packs, but like even then it was worth it. It was worth the wait. Um, and then um, I checked I checked Brick City again today, just because uh, I'm trying to keep a you know a certain eye on it to see if any store more stores get them in and uh, the store in my town the one i actually work at right now um said they have them in stock and so like after i checked that out i went straight to walmart and uh went to see if we had any in the back basically they didn't have them in stock at the moment so my guess is we'll be getting them in the next day or so on the gm truck um because like they didn't have a truck today so my guess is we'll be getting in the next day or so on the next GM truck. What's really nice is, uh, for those of you guys who know, I'm actually supervisor of the department that usually uh, that unloads the truck, basically stock shelves and all that. So tomorrow when I come into work tomorrow and we unloading a truck, I'm gonna keep my eye out for any boxes that say Lego. If any says, and uh, when I see any box that says the 501st uh, battle pack that says this, I'll be setting it off to the side and buying something on my break. Uh, what is up, Braden the Builder? What a wild trip that was. I think more than 30 minutes, by the way. Oh, yeah, it, it probably was. I'm not going to lie. It probably was more than 30 minutes. Like, we were there for quite a while. But, like, it was it was worth it. And the people who were, were kind about it, like, um, which was which is some, uh, sometimes worrying, uh, worrisome. Because, like, I was talking to Jay about this on uh, while he was streaming. Because we I was watching a stream while we were waiting to get the set. And we were talking about how, like how some associates or some Walmart employees basically aren't the most kindest, especially when people are coming in to ask, like, "Hey, can you check and find this uh, Lego uh, Lego set for me, please?" So they're not. Uh, there's some. It just depends on what person you're talking to. Um, but uh, luckily, the people who were at that store were completely okay with checking, and they actually pulled out like three pallets of toys. Because they got a lot of toys in it. A lot of it was Legos. Um, uh, it's really up to you. If you want to purchase it or not. It I doesn't matter to me. Um, but. Shoot. What was I going to say? Basically it was really nice. Because they, yeah, they pulled out three pallets of uh, toys. And like they got a lot of Lego in as well. Like uh, they were, it wasn't just the 501st Battle Pack they had in stock. Like the guy told me they had like the AT-18 and a couple others. But. You know, I wasn't really interested in buying the Adat. Um, but uh, we did that, and like I said, I found out that my store had it in stock today. Mm -hmm. And so I, we literally went there uh, while I was out, and I was, like, checking. I was like, they didn't have it. So hopefully, like I said, tomorrow, when they're at, when we're unloading the truck, we might be able to have them, or they might come in on the truck. And if they do, then... Um, if they do come in on the truck, I'll set them aside, and then when we go to break, I will purchase them in a heartbeat. Man, I, I actually really do like this new head head print, or head mold, or not mold, but new head uh, piece. It actually looks, it's the actual screen accurate uh, color scheme, as well as the face print isn't the angry clone uh, face. Like, here, let me take the uh, scout trooper right here. Like, comparing the two like I don't know focus but that's so much nicer in my opinion at least <sighs> these guys look fantastic in my opinion uh, how much to buy um, if you're buying them or if you're wanting to buy them I'll have to price check them on how like how much they're going for on Bricklink or how much they're going on eBay and basically go off of that these guys are so freaking cool. Like, I am so happy I found them. Ow. Uh, but like I was saying uh, in the other day, er, uh, the other day's stream, basically I'm planning on, er, been thinking about using uh, the 501st clones in the back of Kashyyyk uh, because technically they were uh, seen, or not seen, uh, were in the Battle of Kashyyyk in Canaan. They weren't, of course, shown in the movie or episode three. So, 
on one hand you say, oh, well, they weren't seen, so they weren't there, but uh, in comics and stuff like that, you can actually look it up. The 501st, and in Battlefront 2, the original one, uh, they were showcased on Kashyyyk, helping out in the battle, and it was really cool, because I'd like to utilize these guys, because, like, you know, I am going to be building up a decent army of those guys. Nothing too insane, like, I'm probably going to get at least... I think the total or the minimum battle packs I'm probably going to buy of the 501st sets are probably going to be 10. That's the minimum. Um, being fair, that only means I need six more for the minimum. But um, I do want to build up a decent army. And the idea is to have like these guys maybe in the back of the mock and the Venator. Uh, any misprints on the helmet so far? I've seen a lot of those on Instagram lately. I have been seeing a lot of uh, misprint 501st clone troopers on Bricklink. Uh, which is actually pretty, not Bricklink, uh, on Instagram. Which is actually pretty funny. Um, how many there actually are, and uh, but no, uh, mine look nice, they don't have any misprints on them. So, um, on one hand, it is pretty cool to get like a, a, a misprint, but um, like it's just a misprint, like I'm not going to use that figure then. Like, uh, the ones that I've seen on Instagram are like so badly misprinted that they're either on the side or on the back of the helmet, like, it just does not look good, and I would not want to use it. Uh, for anything like I guess it'd be pretty cool for the sense of like oh man this printed figures go even for more pro uh, more money than anything so I don't know at least at the time if I got a misprint I don't know if I'd sell it but so far the figures look nice but uh yeah these figures uh what's up Kappa Bricks nothing much just building up some 501st Clone Trooper Battle Packs. How's your day going, buddy? Uh, I'm probably going to build some of these sets. I, What I'll probably end up doing in, in the end is probably like uh, partying out these sets. Uh, so I'm kind of like hesitant to actually put the stickers on some of these things. Because it does come with a uh, decent sticker sheet right here. Um, so I'm kind of hesitant to actually put the stickers on because I kind of want to part this set, uh, part these sets out so what I'll probably do is actually build one normally and you know put all the stickers on it all that fancy stuff on there um, and then probably like if I build any more then I'll probably just keep the stickers off I don't know um, target has the 501st battle pack on their website but the closest target has them and it's 332 miles away dang that's a pretty hefty drive, um, but one that, like you said, the one that I had to go to, or I went to Walmart, uh, Target didn't have them, um, they had, or it was in uh, Bloomington, which is like 30, 40 minutes away from my house, uh, it's going good, I'm just chilling, well, glad you're enjoying your Sunday and relaxing, um, is Baby Yoda feeling any better, yeah, he's feeling better after yesterday's incident. Um, like I said, I had my friend, I had my friend Aiden and his family over, and we were having kind of a party last night. And uh, my brother knocked over soda, and it poured onto Baby Yoda. So it's, it was uh, upsetting to see Baby Yoda get dripped in soda. Uh, don't put them on; it's good stickers. Yeah, I know. So, like I said, I think I'm gonna put one uh, one sticker sheet on like one set. That way, I have like a you know full on completed five oh four at five oh first battle pack. Uh, you know, the ATRT and the Bark Speeder, because um, I, I can tell you right now, I won't be keeping this, uh, or won't be using it for anything. Uh, but, you know, it's kind of one of those things where, like, I, if I buy multiples, I try to keep at least one thing built of it, um, you know, so people can see. So I probably will put, like, uh, this these stickers on this set, uh, just so I have at least one completed. And then, like, any more I build, I probably will just, you know, take them off. Or not take them off, just leave them off. Uh, well, it's not as worse as what the scout eh, scout trooper did to him. Oh, yeah, fair. The scout tro uh, trooper did do a uh, nasty to Baby Yoda. Um, but yeah, like I, I was so worried because, like I said, the first Walmart that we went to uh, didn't have them, and the kid, the kid we asked who was working in the toy department was like, yeah. Um, Trust me, I've been looking for them myself. Like I, I don't uh, uh, see. I haven't found them yet. We haven't got them in yet. So like the idea is like maybe they were getting in because uh, Brickseek usually doesn't isn't false. Like uh, 
so far Brixique has been uh, you know pretty good at you know being accurate so my guess is maybe they got it in the next uh, like today or something like that or tomorrow or something but I have no idea but um, that or the kid was just hiding the battle packs for himself uh, peace out Captain Brix thanks for stopping by how many battle packs you got right now I have four uh, I have four battle packs, three unopened, and then the one that's open right now that I'm working on. Um, and then, like I said earlier, my Walmart, the one I work at, on Brickseek, it said it had them in stock. And uh, I went there today, and they didn't have any in stock. So, I'm guessing since there was no GM truck today... Um, again, this is the store I actually work at, so I know like the scheduling of trucks and stuff. And... Well, they didn't get one in today, and so my what I'm thinking is that it will say it's in stock before it actually arrives there. That way, you know, people are informed, like, okay, well, this is coming up. Um, and my guess is tomorrow, since there's going to be a GM truck, I'll, and since I work, I'm going to keep an eye out on, you know, making sure that if any battle packs do come out or any Lego boxes come out of the truck, I'll be checking on them and seeing if uh, any of them say 501st on them. Because if they do, I will be setting them off to the side and uh, purchasing them on the link. Um, but yeah, like, uh, Brickseek is very useful. If you guys haven't been using that to find any, it's not just uh, for 501st Battle Packs. Like, you can use it for any new set or any uh, older set that you think might have retired or might not have in the stores. Like, it's, it's very useful. Like, I'm not going to lie. Um, just to, you know, type in the set you're looking for and then type in your uh, zip, uh, zip code and you'll be able to, you know, pop it in or it'll pop it any stores near you that might have it. So, um, and like I said, it, so far, like, it has been accurate. Like, I haven't been, you know, pulled, I've fooled uh, stray. So, I'd recommend if you haven't been using or if you haven't tried, uh, Brickseek yet. I highly recommend you checking it out. It's very useful. I saw five of first battle packs on Walmart's website and I was heartbroken that it was sold out. Dang. That stinks. Yeah, so I'm, ho I'm hopeful for tomorrow though. But, yeah, that does kind of stink though. Seeing them sold out and I know yesterday uh, Target had them online and like they sold out in like 30 seconds or something. Um, because I know Matt uh, bought some and like he timed it or something and, and everything was gone in like 30, 40 seconds or something crazy like that because people are on the grind to get those sets. So like you really do have to hurry up uh, when buying those sets. Like there's literally no joke on that. Because uh, like the person I spoke to um, when I went to Walmart today, they're like, are you gonna are you gonna buy them all or something like that? Because I guess I wasn't the only one. Uh, that was asking about it, and she was like, yeah, uh, if you do see him come out on the truck, my recommendation is just, you know, set him off to the side and, like, pick it up on your break or something. I was like, oh, yeah, already planning on doing that. Uh, I was able to get them at my Target August 11th. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I what I've seen is, like, some Targets have them and some Walmarts have them. Like, it's not always the same consistency because like I said uh, my target in uh, or the target that I went to in Bloomington didn't have any um, they had some of the new sets like they had the Anakin's Jedi Interceptor the General Grievous Starfighter and the Adat but they didn't have the like 501st set or the uh, AAT A A tank I think is what it's called so it just depends on what location you're at and depending on, you know, where you're looking is basically what I can say. Oh, excuse me. But I hope you guys are having a great day, though, because I know I am. And, you know, it's, it's a nice day. It's the last day of the weekend. And then um, I know a lot of you, or some people are going back to school soon as well, which is uh, pretty sad, but... But I thought, um, because I was going to build some of these sets, because I, I think I wanna, I'm i going to save one set, and basically, I think I'll probably build two sets 
on the stream today and then um, go from there and because uh, I kind of want to keep one set sealed because um, I want to do a video on it basically like me I don't know if I want to do a review on it or not but something revolving around the 501st battle pack because you know why not I uh, love your channel. I'm heading out. Uh, peace out, William. Thank you again for stopping by, and I appreciate the kind words. All the targets uh, within a 10-mile radius are sold out of the closest target that had the 501st Battle Pack was but 332 mile away. <laughs> Hell no. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Like, it's it's crazy, because, like, they, they really do sell out super fast. People are adamant on being the first one to get the 501st battle pack like it's it's nuts it's basically one of those scenarios was like basically you're the first uh, you're either first to get uh, first there to get it and you can be kind and leave a couple or you can just take them all which uh i'm i can't say anything because like i i am probably going to take them all if they come out on the uh at the shelves or off the truck um, at my store. Like, you know, no offense, but you know, gotta build up that army for the channel. People must be really bored out of their mind during quarantine. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding, everyone's like, uh, well, I can't, there's nothing much to do, you know, you know I can't go out. I guess I'll buy, uh, stay at home and build some Legos. Time to build up a uh, clone trooper army back uh, like back in the day. Oh snap! Okay, dead that piece. Okay, so yeah, there. There isn't a 501st battle pack within 100 miles of my house. Dang, that sucks. Like I said, it just depends on your location. Like I said, if uh, the, the best way I've been looking at it is, like I said, I've been using BrickSeek the most because I feel like it's the most helpful, at least in my case, because like, now I don't have to worry about, like, should I stop by Walmart, should I stop by Target and see if they have any, or should I basically make any, any um, stops that I normally wouldn't. So it basically saves me that time in seeing that, oh, they don't have it, so what's the point of me going there to check it? Uh, well, there's no battle packs in the 2021 20, winter wave, so you have time. Save the 501st battle pack. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, if that's true, because I, I don't think it's been officially announced, and I don't want to say it is, because you never know. Like, it could be just one of those rumors that are false. If it is true, and it's just going to be like the $15, not $15, that $30 set that comes with like basically you know four clones and then four uh, two droids or like if they continue this on with like imperial or something like that and have like uh, four stormtroopers two rebels or four rebels two stormtroopers or something like that like i'm all for it like if i'm being honest um because if they really if they really end up deciding to uh cancel the 15 dollar battle pack four troops and then you know a little build and uh, they just straight up cancel it and they stop doing it and they ended up switching to the $30 sets and it has, you know, four figures and then two uh, figures to face them. Like, I'm completely fine with that. Like, um, yeah, you're spending extra money. You're not um, getting... Basically, instead of uh, buying one set, you're buying two uh, for the price of two sets. Like, that's... That's my feeling on it. Like, you're literally buying one for the price of two, but you're also getting two for the price of two. I don't know. Because, like, if you really, if you bought two battle packs, it's just going to be the same price as you buying, you know, one of these sets. So, in reality, like, it's not that big a deal. On top of that, you know, um, the previous battle packs haven't been really the best when it comes to that. Because, like, they'll come with, like, one or two of the same figure, and it's not really the best for army making. Whereas in, like, this set, you get three of the same figures. Uh, as much as I would have pref uh, preferred, you know, four of the same phone, uh, but that's just me being nitpicky, and, you know. Even then, like, I actually, I do like the uh, Jet Trooper, because I think it's, you know, 
a pretty cool inclusion because it's something they didn't have to throw in uh, to the set. And, you know, it's pretty cool because you do see him. You do see him in uh, Season 7. So, I want a Gwenpool movie. Why do you want a Gwenpool movie? Like, I'm, I'm more focused on getting another Deadpool movie. Ooh, I like that because usually on the back side, they also have something printed on the back. And it's just a normal... Uh, off topic, by the way. Yeah, I noticed. All oh, these guys just look fantastic. And yeah, no, still no misprinted helmets. So, I got a pretty... It looks like I got a pretty good batch. Which is nice. Because, uh... Like I said, I don't know... Like, again, they're pretty cool, I guess, on one hand, like, getting a misprinted figure. But even then, like, I'm not going to use them for going to be set off to the side, or in the case I do end up selling them, I'll sell them. Okay, so it was a separate piece. This is actually pretty cool. I do like the inclusion of, like, a uh, extended barrel. Uh, but, oh my goodness, these guys look fantastic. So, calculating everything in total, I have 3, 6, 9, 12, I have 12 501st clones now. Which is already an upgrade of my previously counted five of the first clones. Because uh, from the ATRT set, I only have two of the cartoony ones that came in uh, from the Clone Wars. So, even then, like, I only have two of them. And that was, you know, one I bought from the set and then one I bought uh, this year, actually. Um, when I did it, when Clone Wars first came back, it, when Season 7 was just coming out for that moth, I did. And... Now, like, I bought a couple sets, and now I have, like, 12. So, 12 of the, the uh, superior ones. Like, I'm not going to lie. Going back, like, the Clone Wars one looks fine for what it was, but comparing it to the new one, it, it, it's no... It's no competition. Like, the new one's got them. On top of that, I do prefer the... I know this is kind of a uh, opinionated thing, but, like, I actually do prefer the white arms and the white, uh, tor not torso, white, uh, thigh piece. Um, uh, because I know a lot of people were like, you know, why isn't it blue arms? Why isn't it, uh, black thigh piece? Uh, like, honestly, I, I'm fine with it. Like, they look nice. They look like the 501st. Like, uh, in the movies, like, uh, when you see the 501st, they don't have, uh, a lot of blue printing. It's really just on the shoulder, uh, on this part and then on the tip of the gloves so like in my opinion I think it's fine and I think it actually looks better like I've seen people uh, switch them with the black thighs and the blue arms and like they look they look good but honestly I prefer you know what they look like now I get paid next Tuesday saving uh, movie saving money for B-Day Hall need them five first boyos yeah no kidding buddy got to get an army going Got to get that 501st troops moving. What's up, Ryan? What's up, Z Dash? It's been it and it has been a while. It has been a while, and you've made it to a uh, wonderful stream. I was planning on getting five, uh, five 501st battle packs, but you know, yeah, I know. Um, it's kind of one of those things where like you try and find it, but again, they the best way I've uh, thought about it uh, is going through um, Brickseek. Like it's it's super easy and uh, it's very useful. So if you haven't tried it out, I highly recommend it. Like I've already recommended it to a couple people and a couple people, and I've already checked it out. So at least I'm gonna get the AAT tomorrow at my Target. I put them on hold. Okay, that's cool. How many did you end up uh, purchasing? That was one set I was uh, looking for as well, but they didn't have it at the. Uh, store at the time so that's not that big a deal um i'm probably only gonna get a couple of them like if i'm being honest uh just because like as cool as they are it's just well, again it's 40 bucks so it's it's ten dollars more for this set and on top of that um you get yeah you get a cool clone you get the uh three three thirty second clone and then ahsoka um and then a droid so in my opinion, I'll probably just pick up a few of them. Like, I think minimum probably four, maybe five. Uh, turns out, 
Oh. Yeah, it turns out getting the money for the battle packs was the easy uh, easier part. Yeah, no kidding. You would think, uh, because the idea of spending a lot or getting a lot of battle packs of the 501st are thinking like, oh man, the price is going to be nuts. And then in reality, that was the easy part. Now it's finding the actual sets. Uh, is Marfan here? Um, not yet, at least. I haven't seen him yet. Only one, okay. Um, man, like I said, I'm probably only going to get a, a few of the uh, AATs. Just because, like, I, I'm probably not going to use the uh, 330 second clones. So I'd like, like, I'd like to get a few of them. You know, that way I have some and I can say, like, yo, I've got, like, a little uh, squad, I guess. But what's up, Lego all around? I'm going to need eight for my clone base in November, so it's going to be pretty hard. Uh, yeah, like, <laughs> again, that's, like, the hard part is trying to find them all, and uh, especially if you're wanting to use them. You're going to have to, like, scavenge because uh, at least, like, go through a lot of stores. Hopefully by the time, you know, uh, you're trying to start it up in November, hopefully by November, like, the craze that will have at least calmed down or settled so people aren't, like, adamant, like, oh, crap, you know, 501st Battle Pack, got to get it. Like, if I don't get it, someone else will. So hopefully by then it will have calmed down and, you know, you'll be able to find them more easily. And I have no idea who disliked it, so. It's not that big a deal. Whoever disliked it maybe got upset because they didn't get the 501st. Uh, what's your favorite display set? Like a set you like that looks or but never going to put in a mock or something. That's a good question. Like, basically the question is, what set do I like so much but I would never put in a mock? Or the design of a set that looks great that I wouldn't put in a mock. Um, going by like what I have right now, probably, hmm, probably either the Y-Wing or, or like the Rogue One Y-Wing. I think that set looks great for what it is. And you know, it was really cool that I actually bought three. I only have two now, but I bought three at the time and like, it's a really cool set. Um, but I would never use it in a mock of course because i want to build a custom one but other than that maybe the uh jedi interceptors like the most recent anakin and the most recent obi-wan kenobi one like those are great sets but i don't know if i'd like the detail on them is great but i don't know if i'd actually ever uh use them for uh, like a mock uh i might buy myself xmas gifts since this year xmas will be li at light yeah no kidding uh what's up tuscan productions you gotta get you gotta get you uh, that 501st set for uh, Christmas, and Santa Claus might not be able to. Um, I know it sounds dumb, but I don't care. Uh, are you gonna use the 501st in Kashyyyk? Yeah, I was actually just talking about this uh, a little bit ago as well. Um, so the idea is, and this will make a lot more sense uh, coming this weekend, uh, 22nd, um, because of the fact that I think it's Saturday actually. Um, because that's when episode one is going to be releasing. Uh, but the idea is to use the 501st clones in the back of the mock where the Venator is going to be. And basically the idea is the back is going to be like the hangar portion of the Venator. Uh, you got the ramp coming down. And again, this is going to make a lot more sense on Saturday. But that's the idea. And then since the bulk of the figures that are going to be in the actual battle, like in the uh, grass and the actual battlefield, are going to be like the, you know, Kashyyyk clone trooper, this scout. Uh, that's going to be, I just shot off a missile. Um, basically, that's going to be the bulk on the outside, and um, I'd rather, maybe I'll have a couple on the inside, but I think what I'm going to do for the inside is have them like, be the 501st, kind of getting things set up, getting into the gunship or something like that. Uh, that's the idea, at least at the time. Uh, do you play Call of Duty? I started playing Warzone a month ago. Yes, I do. I was playing it last night with a couple of my friends. Um... I don't play it a lot, but, like, I usually do play, uh, especially, like, modern, or the new Modern Warfare, I usually do play that with my, uh, close friends. Just because, like, I play it for fun. I don't play it for, like, uh, tournaments or anything like that. Doesn't mean I'm not good at the game. Like, I am, eh, I am not very good at that game. Uh, remember Jay's song on the 501st Battle Pack? To be honest, it was cringe fest, but it still put out a message. Yeah, I mean, I think that's you know the whole idea of Jay's uh, songs he makes. Like they're just 
they're enjoyable to listen to. They they can be cringy, but they are they are pretty funny. Uh, as you uh, are you planning on building the full vendor or only part of it? I'm currently building a vendor micro scale. Yeah, I saw you were working on that the other day. Um, that video you posted about the vendor, like it actually looked really nice. Um, so pros to that, and uh, the quite and the answer is. No, I'm not going to be building a full vendor just because, you know, the idea for one, the space I have is not the best, especially when you have a, already a five, uh, five by six large block. On top of that, adding a huge, uh, at least close to scale vendor. So it's probably going to be a no, but um, the idea is it's going to be the hanger portion because this is going to be huge. Uh, the hanger portion is going to be, you know, about this big. Uh, I don't know if you, again, it's going to make a lot more sense on Saturday, um, but it's going to take a lot of portion in the middle of the table, and then, like, the sides are going to be, like, the interior portions of the hangar, so, uh, luckily, Battlefront 2 is going to be very helpful when it comes to that, I'm going to be looking at a lot of artwork, a lot of, uh, the inside clips from Kashyyyk to help me out, um, Jay's songs are legendary, they are legendary, Shout out to the original. Cold on, uh, cold just like hot. Uh, so what's the next clone battle pack we're spamming Lego to make? Um, I don't know. Either the, uh, I want to say the 212, but I have no, like, I. it's not that big a deal if we don't get another one. Um, maybe another, hmm. Either a Wolfpack Trooper set, I think that'd be pretty cool to get a battle pack of, or maybe a uh, Galactic Marine one. Because, like, I could say a Kashyyyk battle pack or a Utapau battle pack with a 212 or something like that, but we've already gotten that, so... Um, if we're going for that, I'd love, like, again, I'd love a Kashyyyk battle pack, but, you know, I don't know if that will happen again. But I think a Wolfpack battle pack would be pretty cool because, you know, Wolf, uh, the Wolfpack Trooper is getting, like, uh, maybe two or three of the same ones and then like have a captain or something. I think that'd be pretty awesome uh, Which design for the ATRT did you decide on um, for the ATRT? I have David Buholz, uh ATRT I already have the instructions and I already have uh, the parts to build it um, Honestly, I probably should build that soon, but That's the one I'll be uh, uh, Using because I think it looks the best in my opinion. So I'm building a few of those not a lot, because I don't want to overpopulate it, but I'll have a couple of them in the mock. Plus, I'm using uh, his AT, uh, ATAP walker, so might as well use uh, another one of his vehicles. Um, it was just very unstable, so I destroyed the old one, and the new one is much better. I can send a work in pro uh, progress picture of it. Sweet, yeah, if uh, if you want to send a work in progress shot, I'd love to check it out, man. Just send it over uh, Instagram or Discord. That'd be because, like I said, I'd be completely down to check it out. Um, what was that? Here I'm gonna wash off. Just finish the cleaning the bathroom. You're good, buddy. Don't worry about it. Um, wolf packs would be good. Yeah, like I said, that would be really nice to get like a wolf pack trooper battle pack. Like, it'd be, in my opinion, it'd be really cool to get it because you could use like. Maybe two or three wolf pack troopers. Again, like, I would assume in the style, like in the 501st, where it's kind of a mix between Episode 3 and uh, Clone Wars. I don't see why many people had so much of a problem. Like, honestly, like, I get the idea, like, it kind of has that cartoony feel. But honestly, like, this looks like a uh, Episode 3, 501st clone. Like, that's what matters. So, my guess is uh, they'll be doing, like, for uh, any future clone battle packs, I would assume they'd do the same, and it'd probably be the same for a wolf pack trooper set. But it'd be pretty cool to get like a, uh, well, like a, like I said, two or three wolf pack troopers, and maybe a captain mixed in with it. Oh, that's too far over this side. Oops. There we go. There's a lot of stickers in the set. Are you going to build two Juggernaut Turbo Tanks? Um, I don't want to say yes to that, but um, I'd like to use, or build at least one Turbo Tank. 
Um, I do have, with the calculations I have, I do have a lot of space and a lot of open space that I can use, or at least like the look of it is I have a lot of space. So I'd like to build one turbo tank. Two of them, I don't know if I can, because I already know it's going to be ex expensive just building one. Um, two of them would be insane. Uh, cool, do you play cool. CFDs? Yes, I do. Um, I'm starting a mock where it's going to be a minifigure scale Venator, just like the size of my table size. Yeah, that is going to be expensive. Good luck to you, man. Like, that's going to be, once it's finished, it's going to be look nice. But yeah, that is going to be a uh, pricey, pricey cost. But honestly, cool. that's how cool. usually most mocks are. Like, uh, most large scale mocks or vehicles you build, it's... It's never something cheap, but ends up being worth it in the end, though. Okay. Like I said, I pro I don't know if I'm gonna build a. Um, I'll probably open up the bags. Maybe I'll build the other ones. I don't think I'm gonna put the stickers on though. Build, uh, uh, building while watching this. Well, I'm happy you're uh, enjoying your build, uh, tus uh, Nameless Lego. I'm glad you're enjoying your build while watching me build. <laughs> That's uh, one of my favorite things about streaming as well, is uh, something you can kind of just put on uh, in the background and kind of just, you know, work on whatever you're working on. So. Uh. I see that baby Yoda behind there. How is the child? He is wonderful. He kind of just chills back there and, uh, you know, watches the build process. I'm going to play Siege. I hope you have a fun time playing Siege. Hate the studs, uh, stupid stickers. Yeah, there are a lot of stickers in this set. Like, that is no joke. There are a lot of them in this set. That's kind of why I don't want to... Uh, put or uh, put or build another one or just like put, at least put stickers on it because of the fact that uh, most of these sets I am probably going to part out so what's the point of me you know uh, putting on the stickers if I'm just going to take them off and then those parts that I could have used now have certain stickers on it so I'm probably a really rare person that likes Lego stickers I mean, they're not bad. I'm not going to, you know, say... Because uh, the stickers do give the sets, you know, detail. Or extra detail that it, you know, would have. I would prefer uh, if it was printed, of course. But, like, of course you can't. Uh, that's not always the case. And printing does cost a little extra. Oh, so, cool. it's not the end of the world if they don't print. Uh, but, the stickers are... Especially when a set has a lot of them, it can be annoying. But, I mean, they get the job done. They look nice. Um, as Marge put it, I just think they're neat. I just think they're neat. Uh, wasn't it the Pokemon episode or something like that? Or Pochiman or what? Uh, Chim Pokemon or whatever it was called. In The Simpsons, I can't remember. Oh, I like the edge one on this one. There we go. There we go. Uh, I'm going to do an alternate build with my extra vehicles. That's smart. Um, I was going to do, or hopefully, depending on, you know, uh, when the next time I see this person... Uh, I'm hoping to do another build challenge because uh, the last time I did one it was with JB and we had a fun time doing it like we did the uh, Sith Trooper battle pack and we did like a uh, alternate build I guess and basically the idea was who could build the best snow speeder or speeder in general uh, out of you know all the parts of four ba uh, Sith Trooper battle packs and it was a lot of fun like um, just doing a challenge between the two of us and 
basically giving the option of uh, giving you guys the option to choose who won. It was really exciting and it was a fun time and uh, JB and I, especially since it did extremely well, like uh, the video is still doing really well. Uh, we're thinking about doing another one soon. So hopefully uh, we'll, next time he comes down or I go to visit him or we're just in the same place, uh, we're hoping to do maybe a, uh, another one with the 501st Battle Pack. Are uh, you going to use CAC in the mock? Pretty sure in canon the clone commandos were on Kashyyyk. Yes, uh, in canon the commando squad, um, or I can't remember what it was, what their actual, what their actual name is. Um, I can't remember, but yeah, the commando squad with like Sev uh, and all those guys. Uh, they were on Kashyyyk, and the idea is I'd like to add them. Uh, as well as like the Bad Batch, I'd like to add those guys in there because in the unfinished episodes they were also on Kashyyyk. Um, so, and the idea is like you know why not? Like I was talking to Jay about that. Like there's there's really no point not to put them in. Like it's just a fun Easter egg to throw in. It's just one of those things. It's like oh Delta Squad, thank you. Uh, um, so the idea is yes, and I'm trying to work a deal with David. Uh, for minifigs for you to kind of like continue a sponsorship because um, we have one uh, for Camino so uh, we're in talks and hopefully uh, we can we might be able to continue it but I can't I can't promise anything and I can't like confirm it oh yeah I watched that vid uh, pure epic yeah it was really cool I like I also like the thumbnail in that video um, but that's the idea and we'd like to do more of them and so the idea is maybe uh, when, uh, when we meet up next that we'll do another one and we'll do like the 501st battle pack and see who can build like the coolest thing out of it or something like that something along the lines of it and um, honestly like it's it would be pretty fun too because like one in the first place we're getting more 501st battle packs so that's always a plus uh, plus you know that's another challenge. Yeah. Okay, Misa back. What's up, Ace? Eh, welcome back, Ace Gamer. What's up, Spring FPM? Eh, FPB. Uh, was your favorite clone battalion? Eh, what's my favorite clone battalion? Mine's the 327th. 327th are pretty awesome. Those are Bly's guys, are uh, Bly's troopers. Uh, those troops are pretty cool. Um, mine are. See, I want to say the five of first, but that just seems like such an obvious thing um it had to be like the 501st or the 212 like commander cody and captain rex are some of my favorite clones as well as like my favorite like my all-time favorite clone is like arc trooper fives um and so he's of course the arc trooper of the 501st and a bunch of other named clones that are awesome like jesse echo hard case kicks um top all those cool clones are from the 501st so uh, that doesn't mean I don't like any of the other ones. Like, I do like the 327. I do like uh, the 41st Corp, which, of course, is like uh, Grease guys and uh, Scout Troopers and stuff. So, I do enjoy them, and I do enjoy all the other... Like, I do like the Wolfpack Troopers as well. So, But my favorite is probably going to have to be the uh, 501st, of course. My second favorite is a very unknown clone battalion called Horn Company. Horn Company, Horn Company. Um, I recognize that name. I can't. Horn Company behind me. Ah, oh, crap. I can't remember if it was Captain Rex or it was under Commander Cody's thing. I remember Horn Company being announced in the Clone Wars or being said, I guess. I just can't remember what it was called. Uh, uh, which episode it was in. Commander Lock. Oh! Commander, was it the, uh... Snap, was it part, uh, was it in the episode uh, where General Grievous captured uh, Jedi Master... Um... Crud, I'm really blanking on it now. Crud. Horn Company. Yeah, because I think, isn't it like he has like green, like the Jedi Master is a zebra, a zebra and uh, the clone color is, Eat Cloth, yep, okay. 
That's what who it was. Jedi Master E. Call. Yeah, I know which ones you're talking about now. It's the uh, one that has like the. It came in the battle pack, the Clone Trooper battle pack from years ago, back from the Clone Wars. And it's got, and I'm actually looking at it right now. It's got like the uh, huh. green, uh, green color scheme on that, and or on his helmet as well as like uh, different designs throughout like his chest and stuff. Okay, yeah. Scheme, yeah, it's the color scheme. The green and yellow go so well. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to remember. I'm like, Locke sounds so familiar. And plus, like, I remember uh, a clone saying, uh, Horn Company, something like that. So, man, I don't know why I was blanking on that so so much. Damn, yeah, I'm missing something. What am I missing? Okay, how am I missing this? Oh, I remember it's on that Jedi that featured in Ryloth episode, not Mace Windu, some porn guy. Yeah, it was Eth Koth. I was trying to remember. I was like, okay, that sounds familiar, and then um, I couldn't remember his name. I was, I was like, I know he's a Zebrak. Uh, but I was like, what? Okay, I'm missing. I missed a step, and I know I missed it because. I have three extra pieces of a certain piece that I didn't recognize putting on the set. Oh, that's why. Okay, now I figure. Now I found it. I was like, "What? There's no way I missed it out." AC, right? Do you like the new AAT design? Eh, like the. Clone Wars one that came out years ago was I felt was all like overly sized. Uh, the one that came out for Episode one a few years back was again pretty eh. Like the size the size was better, uh, but like it just wasn't in, I wasn't really interested in it because like it came with Jar Jar and a couple battle droids, so it wasn't really my sets uh, in my opinion. This one looks great. Like again, it doesn't have it isn't the best design. Like, I'd much rather use a custom one, but, like, it out of the three, I do think it is probably the better uh, one. So, at least in my opinion. But, um, the be uh, best battle, uh, part of the battle pack is the droids. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, shit, I dropped the club. Yep. I gotta build up my battle droid army. I only have two. I have 20. Dang, that is a lot. Of, that's a lot of uh, battle droids. Um, that is something nice about this battle pack. Like you do, you do get a while you're building up your five of first clones. You're building up your droid army as well. Because like again, uh, just these four sets alone, I just got a set of eight er, eight brand new battle droids. So that is quite nice in my opinion. Because you get to have. He has the other. No. Oh, this one doesn't house it. I thought it might be able to have a little spot, but I guess not. But, um... Y'all, like, I'm generally questioning who disliked the stream. I have no idea. Like, uh, I saw that early on the stream. So, no idea. And like I said, it was probably someone who was upset that they, uh, that I got a fight with first battle pack before they did it or something. I don't know. So, that is, of course, the 501st Battle Pack. You have the ATRT Walker. Again, I'm probably... I don't normally do reviews, and I'm, I don't know if I want to do a review of this set, but I want to do something with the 501st Battle Pack. Um, so, but that's the ATRT. It looks pretty nice. Like, you know, the scaling's much better. It's not as big as the uh, first two separate sets, and it's not super rinky-dinky. I know it isn't, of course... To scale at all like these these are upscaled but uh, it is pretty nice it is a nice walker bark speeder pretty good you know it's a bark speeder uh, but of course the main goal of the set is the figures uh, how long have we been streaming for now I want to see the time because uh we've been streaming for an hour um yeah I'll go ahead and open up another one I don't know if I'll uh, build it just yet but i'll go ahead and open up another one that way you guys get to see uh some more 501st clones 
What's up, the Brick Fanatic? Uh, I was being sarcastic, but yeah, they're, they're nice additions. Yeah, like, um, I know, I kind of caught your sarcastic joke, but like, it is something nice, and honestly, like, they didn't have to throw in the battle droids, but it has been a while since we've got, like, a set that came with a decent quantity. So, honestly, I'm completely fine with getting battle droids in the set. Because it builds up my droid army, and I'm going to need, you know, quite a bit of them uh, for Kashyyyk as well. So, um, it is quite nice, because I'll be using the 501st and the mock, as well as those droids. Um, have you seen some mock-up designs for the ATRT using only the pieces for the set? No, I haven't. Um, but I'm not surprised that maybe some people did, or uh, made some custom designs. So, like I said, I'm probably not going to build this one. I'm probably just going to build the figures out of it. Um, if I do build this, I'll probably build it off camera, because we have been streaming for a little over an hour. Um, anybody wish we got to know Captain Vaughn before he died in Season 7? Yeah, Captain Vaughn was really cool, and it was sad to see him, you know, end off the way he did. Like, I'll give it to him, like, they literally made us like a character that was only shown, like, a few times in, uh, the, in that season alone. Like, they didn't show him prior to any of that, and they, they actually made us care for a character that was not even known. So, that's how you know they did a good job with that season. Because Captain Vaughn was really cool. Especially for just being a repainted Commander Cody. Um, 501st Battle Packs early. Yes, I did, sir. I got these yesterday at uh, a Walmart. And luckily they had four in stock. Uh, I did find them with the help of BrickSeek. Again, I'll bring this up. I know I've said this multiple times. If you guys haven't been using BrickSeek to find... Any, really any set, like it doesn't have to be specifically the 501st Battle Pack because you can use it for like any of the new 2021s, or 2020 summer sets or you know, any sets you're thinking maybe they are out of stock or they, you know, stop selling them. Mm -hmm. It's a very easy way and I recommend using it. So, but I, I found them at a Walmart uh, with the help of BrickSeek. So, very useful, very helpful. Uh, that's why the clone the Clone Wars is gold. They make us care for characters, but barely that barely talk. Yeah, no kidding. Like Captain Vaughn only had a few lines, and like overall was so freaking badass that you cared for this character that you barely even seen more than like characters that already had. Like I'm telling you right now, I prefer Ca uh, Captain Vaughn over like the Mar er, uh, Martez sisters or Martir Martiez Martirez. Whatever sisters they are, uh, Rafa and Chase or whatever their names were, um, like, they had four episodes, four episodes to build up on their character, and I still can't stand them. Like, I was re-watching The Clone Wars with my friends who, yeah, not sponsored, not sponsored by Brixie, could be, but, um, we were re-watching it, and, uh, I was, like, we got to those episodes, and I'm like, I still don't like them. I still don't like them. They're just very... Oh, I'm sorry, Nameless Bricks. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say a bad word. I promise I won't say it again. But, um... Like, they had four full episodes. Episodes they were in a lot of. Like, they weren't just, like, you know, a couple scenes. Like, they had full-on uh, conversations with Ahsoka. Like, they were the main characters of the uh, those uh, four episodes. And I still can't stand them. And I know a lot of people didn't like them either, but I don't know. They they just weren't eh, characters to me. And then, like, you have Captain Vaughn, who literally showed up, like, a couple times in four episodes. And he was only in, like, one, maybe two episodes at the most. Yeah, because I think he was in the first one for a little, a little bit. And then he was actually had a couple lines in the second episode. And he, like, stole, stole the crowd. Like, that's how... Awesome, Captain Vaughn is. When is the first episode of Kashyyyk coming out again? Uh, episode 1 of Bill and uh, Kashyyyk comes out this Saturday, the 22nd. Um, I don't know what time exactly, but that is when it's supposed to be released. So, stay tuned for Kashyyyk on this, uh, coming this Saturday. I'm probably actually going to work on it just a little bit today. 
Um, I'm still waiting on one order for the minifig scale ATA, uh, ATA paint. That's all the parts kind of just chilling back here. If you're wondering why there's a bunch of stuff back there. Um, and I'm debating whether or not I want to get it built before episode one or, or before episode two. Because episode one I'm going to have the whole lineup, the whole map play, and a little bit, a bit of uh, prototyping and stuff. And I don't know if I really want to, because I want to make sure that the ATAP is, it's like, you know, as, uh, as much as focused as the whole episode. So I'm probably going to wait to build it until the next episode. And I'm probably going to actually work on uh, some Kashyyyk things uh, later today, because uh, today is my day off and I have nothing really going on other than building. Uh, does anyone know a way I can make money from home so I can get some new sets? I mean, sell. Uh, you can either do chores and hopefully uh, earn some money that way, or you can uh, literally sell things that you don't need, don't use, or don't want anymore. That's literally up to you. Where's the funnel piece? Oh, there it is. Um, sell your home. Fair. Uh, open a bricking store. That is also a good one. Yeah, I know. Uh, Kashyyyk, I'm super excited to start up because, like, that's a build series that I've been wanting to start up for a long time now. And uh, it's going to be my biggest project yet, my most ambitious project yet. And uh, I definitely feel like Hoth was a great start, Kamino was a great middle, and Kashyyyk's going to be a great top of them all. Because, like, uh, how I see it, how I see it, like, in a lot of mock makers is, like, their first mock, their, their first mock isn't the best, but it's a great start. Uh, their second mock is, like, an upgrade and something that, you know, stands out from the crowd. And uh, then the third one is something they do that really, like blows away the crowd like for instance like matt did a fantastic job with his crate mock but that was kind of his first uh, that was his first one so you know it wasn't his best but it was a great one um and then you have his second mock which of course was uh kessel which was, again was a st it st it stood away it stood out because of the fact that you know it was different in a lot of ways and it wasn't something that every single person was doing at the time and then, of course, you have his third one was, of course, uh, Battle of the uh, not Battle of the Nexus, but the Ford and Axis, which just came out beautifully. Um, so, that, in my opinion, like that's how it seems. Now, of course, he's got Endor coming up, which is probably going to be his best project. And that kind of just continued on as well. Uh, then the same could be said with uh, Jay and his builds. Like his, it wasn't his first one, but uh, when he really started getting popular, he had Crate, uh, which was already a great mock and uh then um but of course like you, the first mock you always can do some changes then you had uh vardos which was something that hugely hugely uh was something that no one really did at all especially at that scale that stood out from that um and then of course you have star killer which is his best mock uh that he's ever done so and also like it I know he's probably going to top himself later on down the road, but I have a feeling that is his number one mock at the moment. Um, how big will Kashyyyk be? And it's going to be by uh, five by six gray base plates. So it's going to be much larger than Hoth was. So five by uh, five by six, basically it is five wide and then six long. Uh, Kashyyyk will be so different from Kamino. It's going. Uh, it's great doing different style mocks like this. Yeah, that's something also. And this is going to be kind of some of the last topics before I end off the stream. That's going to be something really nice to do because uh, a lot of my mocks or my recent mocks have been like different from each other. Like my first mock was Hoth, so it was a lot of plain terrain and nothing exciting. It was just like snow pile, so I had to, you know, do something different and not make it completely uh, tiled over. Um, as well as like, uh, yeah, that big trench as well as you had a mountain. So that was like the first one, and then a Camino was a lot different because it was just water, and then you had built uh, built everything up on stilts, platforms, and stuff, and uh, that was of course different than normal like plain terrain and mountains. And then Kushi coming along, you literally have the edge of an ocean, or yeah, basically an ocean. Um, you've got sand and grass and trees and 
a lot of foliage and on top of that you have the back end which again is going to be the vendor so a lot of um, I'm building up a lot of my park collection in a lot of different varieties like I have a ton of white parts so I've if I any, or want to do anything with Hoth or Crate or anything like that I've got plenty for it if I ever want to do anything with water related or uh, a lot of, that needs a lot of great parts I have a lot of in my collection like for instance this is a bag of literally just uh, two by two uh, curved slopes or same with my one by six tile bag so I've got, a, it builds up a lot of uh, parts, and then Kashyyyk, again, is going to be, after that mock's done, then I'm going to sort it down, of course, eventually. Um, I'll have a lot of foliage parts, I'll have a lot of different water pieces, and a lot of uh, brown pieces that are going to be used for, like, trees and stuff. So, with building new mocks and building the different uh, uh genres of different things and not doing the same thing over and over again which I know I do see a lot of people kind of uh, sticking to the same format um, yeah it's helpful because it's less costly because you have like a bunch of the parts already good to go uh, but in that circumstance you're also like not really expanding your part collection and you're kind of just you are reusing which is which is a good little thing like I'm not gonna say reusing is a bad thing uh, but it does help of course building up um, I just missed, I missed a bunch of you guys' chat. Sorry, I was rambling on. Uh, what's your prediction for David's next mock? I have a couple ideas, and I do not want to share them just because the fact that I have a feeling one of them might be true. Um, wow, I can't even imagine 5 by 6 but It is a lot. Um, yes, I think it actually is supposed to be original trilogy, if I'm correct. Um, yeah, it's going to be insane. It is my biggest project yet. Building the venerator size of my table. That's nuts. I'll be around. I'm back. I ate pizza. Hope you enjoyed your pizza. Uh, yeah, it's. I guarantee it's going to be expensive. Dang, you have two Venator sets? That's awesome. That's a, uh, that set is not a cheap one either. My prediction for David's mock is Felucia. That's possible. I, I, I do not know. I can state that I do not know what he's doing next, but I do have some... Not theories, but rumors. So, I do not want to state anything. Uh, did you hear the size of Chris's Kashyyyk? Yes, I have. Um, I know it's going to be another... It's, I know it's going to be super large. I can't remember the exact size because it's been a while since I watched that video. Uh, they're both going to be really great, but wow, that's going to be huge. Yeah, I know. Uh, I've been speaking uh, to Chris back and forth. Like He and I have been... Uh, talking a lot recently especially when uh, it comes to Kashyyyk posts and stuff like uh, I know like he's been uh, messaging me every time like I, I, most of the time when I've been uh, posting like a bunch of Kashyyyk updates or something like that because uh, it's something really cool because I love uh, no it, sadly no it is not a collaboration between Chris and I um, that would be awesome but he's doing his own Kashyyyk and I'm doing my own Kashyyyk so it's not a collaboration but that would be pretty awesome um, he and I, again, are talking back and forth. The idea is that uh, once both Kashyyyk uh, series starts, he and I are going to get in a couple calls and maybe, like, you know, uh, go over some plans. Because, like, he'd, I, I, I've seen what he, I, well, I've seen a couple things he's been working on, and uh, he's seen, like, the overall layouts of uh, what my Kashyyyk box is going to be. So, we've been, we have been talking back and forth, so we've been keeping in touch with Kashyyyk. Uh, what's up, clone plays like a Star Wars and gaming? I am doing great. How are you doing, mine? I wish it was. Yeah, I mean that would have been pretty cool if uh, he and I did a collaboration um, with uh, with Kashyyyk. But like that would have been. He and I do live quite far from each other, so that would not be a uh, easy collaboration. But it would be really cool. I'm not gonna lie. I know the base play costs. Yeah. the Base plate costs are not cheap, but luckily I do have I do have all the uh, base plates I need. Um, Cause like I bought all brand new base plates for Hoth, bought all brand new base plates for Camino, and then I had I bought like four extra ones a while back. So I have enough. I have all the base plates, and I'll have extra as well uh, for Kashyyyk. So I don't, that's something I don't have to worry about. Cause I I do not want to <laughs> buy brand new base plates for Kashyyyk. Uh, sorry, I know the cost of the base plate he was going to use is like 800 already. Yeah, that's nuts. I mean, base plates aren't cheap, 
at all. Like they're fifteen dollars each. So or either they're no, they're not fifteen, they're like twelve, I think. They dropped the price. But um you know, buying in quantity, like you buy uh, five, you're already spending sixty some dollars. And uh, if I was bringing brand new ones, like one table would already be a hundred and twenty, because that's five and five. That's ten base plates for one table. Uh, so times that by three. That's one hundred twenty, uh, two hundred forty, three hundred and sixty, three hundred sixty dollars on base plates. So I'm happy I didn't have to buy any. Any Easter eggs in Kashyyyk? Yes, there will be plenty of Easter eggs in Kashyyyk. I've already got a few ideas. Uh, of course, I'm gonna have the. Here's my mini kit bag. Of course, I'm gonna add mini kits throughout the month, as always. But I do have some ideas for other uh, Easter eggs. Here's my thinking: a 20 by 40 stud mock is big. Yeah, that is. It's still a big mock. Like, uh, it just depends on your style of building and your opinion on the matter. Cause like. Uh, I've spoken to Jay about this, like, and I think he went over in a video or something like that. Like, one person's idea of a large scale mock can be different from another person or two other people, because you know, to a certain person, like, um, okay, a four by four gray base plate mock is huge. To you know, some people, whereas uh, other people who build gigantic creations, that's not as big as you know, uh, to their standards. So it really just depends on, you know, the point of view of the builder. I'm getting the AAT tomorrow. That's awesome. I use the green ones, and they are $5 on Amazon. They ain't bad. Green ones are nice, but, like, I prefer the uh, gray ones, so I don't have to buy as many. Is it illegal to use Lepin for filler bricks? Uh, yes. Uh, my best bet is stray away from Lepin. Like... I know Lego uh, bricks can be expensive, especially if you buy them from BrickLink, but if you have a Lego store near you that has pad wall, it is very, very easy to get plenty of 2x4, two 2x2 two two bricks. That's how I built up a bunch of my collection, and now I have two two freaking drawers of 2x4. Uh, uh, my biggest mock is 12 green base plates. Hogwarts, yeah. Uh, they're useful. Like... There, again, it just depends on uh, the opinion, or not the opinion, but the point of view of the mock builder. Duplo is uh, is filler. Uh, Duplo as filler is goaded. Yeah, I mean, like uh, I know a lot of uh, I know people who really prefer using uh, Duplo bricks to filler, and it does help out in one uh, idea because, like, holy crap, you know, you're saving up a lot of time using filler, especially when you're doing my. Uh, mountains or you're trying to fill up a large space so on one hand that's very useful i personally won't be using uh duplo because i have no reason to plus i got plenty filler in the first place uh what is up mr bricker it is go it is hanging pretty good built well technically built two battle packs or 501st battle pack i really only built one technically but i opened up the second one and built the figures and these guys look mighty fine I only buy, I buy the Hogwarts sets for the sand pieces because I'm still finishing my Tatooine mock. That's fair. That's an easy that's an easy way to get town, uh, tan, a lot of tan parts, I guess you could say. Uh, yesterday I went to two targets looking for Harry Potter blind bags, but I would have I, I would have resorted with a five first battle pack if I didn't find any. Didn't find either. Dang. I'm sorry, Mr. Bricker. I didn't see any uh, blind bags either. Um, at any of the stores I've been to lately. Duplo is better than Lego. That, sir, is a point of an... Uh, that is an opinion. Or a, uh... That is true from a certain point of view. Because, like I said, I, I just don't need... In my opinion, at least, again, I know a lot of people prefer using it. But, honestly, like, I, I prefer just using standard, you know, 2 by 4 bricks. I've got plenty in my stash, and... That's something I'm very happy about, is I'm hoping that I won't have to use any, or not use, buy any filler for this mock. I think I'll have plenty of filler, uh, because, like I said, I've got plenty of 2x4 bricks, and I've got plenty of 2x2 two two bricks. So the goal is I don't, I won't have to use any, or buy any brand new filler bricks uh, for this mock. Which is going to save a lot, if I'm being completely honest. 
uh, only have one 501st set with two AATs. That's cool, too. Like, I mean, you you got, like, a decent portion of the 501st, then you have uh, two 320... Not 327, uh, three 332nd troops. Uh, gonna try Learning Express later today. Okay, that's cool. How late is it where I am? It is currently... What time is it? It is currently 5.23. 5.23 where I'm at currently. I had six plans on getting... I had six plans on getting five battle packs and one AAT, and they all failed. Luckily, I'm able to get an AAT tomorrow. I mean, like I said, it's... Whoa. Um, that's kind of one of those things where you can't really... Like, you... I, again... I have a plan. My idea is, or my goal is to at least get uh, 10 of these battle packs of the 501st. Because if I get 10 of them, that means I'll have, what, 3, 6, 3 times 10 is 30. I'll have 30 501st clones. So, that's what I'd like, and that's what my goal is to get. But, you know, it, it might not happen for a little while just because, you know, people going nuts over the uh, 501st battle pack. Have you ever thought of doing military base mocks? I've thought about it. I don't think I would do anything like actually military related, but I'd do like maybe something Call of Duty related with my buddy Aiden. Also, I'm addicted to the Lego movie at the moment. Like, it started with getting Metal Beard for 20, and then I found Lord, Businesses, eh, Lord oh, Business oh. for 5. And after that, I was like, I need everything. Ha. Ah. Um, speaking of what's of the Lego movie, I actually have this set right here. It's still sealed. It's brand new. So, I uh, my parents found this at uh, Tuesday morning, I think. Um, one day while they were out, and they got it for me for Christmas. So, shout out to the Lego Movie for being awesome. I got eight of uh, eight, and I'm planning on getting sixteen. Dang! So you still have eight more to go. Um, what did you use to find the five of first sets again? I used Brick Seek. Um, you basically just go on Google or whatever browser you're looking up on. Basically, you just type in BrickSeek, you click on the link, and basically it'll put a search bar. Basically, you put in whatever you're looking for. You can either put in the 501st Battle Pack, or you can put in any of the new sets or any set you're looking for particularly. And basically, you put in your zip code after, and basically it will go through all the different uh, stores if they currently have them. If they don't have, or if there's none in your location, or anywhere near you, then it won't. Eh, there's nothing that's gonna pop up. If uh, they're in a store that's like, again, like uh, the farthest store that had them for me is like in Washington, Illinois. So, <laughs> give me. I uh, just wondering because it's almost one in the morning. Okay, yeah, I know uh, some people are overseas and uh, it's much later where uh, they're at. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare franchise is great. The campaign is so good. It really is. I love I have, the Modern War, uh, Warfare campaign series is my all-time favorite Call of Duty campaign. And if I do anything, I guess, remotely military-related, probably be something for Modern Warfare. As much as I love Brick Seek, I hate it because it's the reason why 20 people were lined up outside of my target. Yep, that's also a good uh, a thing because I, uh, I like people. It's very useful. But a lot of a lot of people do use it and will have the same idea as you do, and you and they'll realize like, oh snap, they have that at the store. Gotta go. So Modern Warfare Two is the best. The third mission was questionable, but uh, but the rest was amazing. Yeah, I, I think I know what mission you're talking about. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so we've been streaming for a little over an hour. I do think I'm going to end off the stream. We did have some fun building some Fiber First Boys. Again, I still have two sealed sets right now. Um, I do plan on doing a certain... I don't know if I'm going to do a review on it, but I do want to do a video on it um, showcasing the Fiber First clones, or at least the set itself. And that's the idea, at least. I'm probably going to clean this up. I don't know if I'm going to build the set or not. Um, and I'll go from there. But I do hope you all enjoyed the live stream. If you did, definitely show some love by smashing the like button. If you're new to this channel, definitely subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next stream. Thank you guys again for stopping by and enjoying the stream. 
And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you all have a great and wonderful day. Bye-bye.